From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Welcome into BBN Tonight. I'm Mary Jo Perino. And I'm Keith Farmer. Tonight, UK football prepares to return to action this week, but it's going to be without some staff members. Yeah, you're going to hear from Mark Stoops on that. Plus, I'm going to talk with Chris Rodriguez, and we'll welcome in the voice of the Wildcats, Tom, voice of the Wildcats, Tom Leach. Catch. That's something that this team has got to figure out how to do, right, as they prepare to return to the field to take on Bandy. And that's tonight's Big Blue Story presented by Baptist Health. The Cats open up as a 17-point favorite ahead of their home matchup against the winless Commodores. Coach Mark Stoops talked about the game at his weekly news conference today and says this team is going to be missing some coaches. We're dealing with some situations here right now. I mean, I'm down... I'm down three offensive staff members right now that are that are uh, not here. So uh, we just have to deal with it the way it comes at us and uh, do the best we can. We've had issues. I don't think I'd, I'm allowed to get into specifics on that. But uh, yeah, we have issues with with COVID. It's yeah, not yeah. it's not it's not out of control. Let's hope it stays that way. Uh, Keith Stoops did not. Uh, also did not name a starting quarterback for the Vandy game today. But to get back to COVID, Kentucky hasn't really had to deal with much of that uh, on their team this year. So to have three coaches uh, on the bye week contract COVID somehow, or I, we, we aren't even sure what it really is. We just have to hope that they are going to have um, enough players, coaches, and staff to be able to play this weekend. Um, we've seen, too, how people are able to do things a little bit differently in this COVID era. And so hopefully there's a chance, if they're feeling well enough, that maybe they could do some calling from home or something like that or whatever the the case may be in, in their position uh, that they're dealing with. Or, or they just do next man up with coaches and, and just try and figure it out from there. All right, let's turn to UK basketball whatever now happens. while Brandon Boston. Oh, yeah, go right ahead. I was just to say, whatever happens, let's not have a repeat of Notre Dame Clemson, right? I get that these aren't going to be the top two teams in the country playing, but I don't want to see thousands and thousands of people on the field at the same time. Not at all. <laughs> okay, to basketball and Brandon Boston, Terrence Clark, perhaps the most prestige and, or most preseason attention that is among the incoming freshmen. Six foot ten forward Isaiah Jackson, though, is getting some love from the national media as well. ESPN's Jimmy Dykes says the four-star prospect is going to be a problem for the rest of the SEC. And Mary Jo, it certainly seems that, that we keep hearing that every time somebody goes and sees this team practice, they, they bring up that name. I was going to say, at what point do we stop saying that Isaiah Jackson's under the radar when we're talking about him being so good every single day? Uh, you know, I, I don't think he's going to be flying under the radar for long. Mm -mm. All right, Kentucky Volleyball remains perfect. The Wildcats completed the weekend sweep of Auburn yesterday in straight sets. Allie Stumler had 18 more kills and 12 digs for her own double-double. Rhea Walker and Gabby Curry added 10 digs each as well. Uh, Craig Skinner has got to be happy with the way his cats have performed. Yeah, I think they've done what they're supposed to do. I mean, they're the number two team in the country for a reason, and so they have done what they are, are supposed to do, and that's hold serve. And they are still undefeated and, and a couple of matches to go, so I think it's great what he's doing out there and what the players are doing. Absolutely. All right, the U.K. women's soccer team finally got the victory to get into the win column for the home finality on Friday. The Cats defeated Florida 3-1 to one ahead of the SEC tournament in Alabama, which begins on Friday. And Mary Jo, if you're going to play your best of the season, it's right before the SEC tournament. They had this win, and then they also, in the previous two games, were going against ranked opponents and got draws, which I know that doesn't sound great, but that's better than a loss. It is better than a loss, and it, got, it has to get this team feeling better as it heads into tournament time. All right, the first road test for the third-ranked Kentucky Rifle team was 
no problem on Saturday. The Wildcats secured a school record small board team score and school record overall team aggregate score en route to a victory over Murray State. And what's impressive to me, Keith, is this rifle team has been so good for so long, and they're still breaking their own records. <laughs> and now they've got a couple of schools in, in uh, Murray State and Moorhead State coming in uh, to go against them at UK. And, and from what I read, that's the only state that has three schools in rifle. It's pretty amazing. So we'll see all three of them together. All right, in the NBA, rumors continue to fly about former Wildcat Devin Booker. Insiders say he wants out of Phoenix. That's a big duh, possibly with an eye towards the renovated New York Knicks. But Suns fans and local Phoenix media are pushing back against those reports. Mary Jo, I think it'd be fabulous to see him end up there and, and have a chance to catch back up with Kenny Payne. Well, do they have a team in Calabasas where Kendall Jenner lives, Keith? Because that <laughs> might be where we want to look. Yes, yes. Oh, we're back to the Kardashian thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's exactly right. All right, in the meantime, there's also on. talk about MK. Yeah, you're doing great. MKG, uh, okay. he's reportedly interested in signing as a free agent with the Knicks. Uh, this is crazy. The, the Knicks could be the Steelers of the NBA. <laughs> All Kentucky players, right? I know it's it's crazy. I, I yeah. think he could bring a lot to this team, even though he may not play that much. He's a veteran player that's been around this league and could certainly help them uh, in reviving the, the franchise there. All right, coming up next on BBN Tonight, a one-on-one -on -one interview with UK running back Chris Rodriguez. Yeah, the fan favorite is going to talk about his season and getting back on the field this Saturday against Bandy. Stay with us.